Hello everyone, this is Oliver from NEO and today we are going to talk about cold infusion versus the hot infusion of the same tea. For this I chose today the Sasahime, the Sasahime uh, Gyokuro from Mr. Sakamoto, one of our organic green tea farmers. And what I want to look at is how this tea tastes once brewed hot and once in cold brewing. So how the tea looks like is this one this type here so what you can see it is a really dark tea with dark needle shapes and um, a very well covered tea around 20 days before the harvest this tea is taste uh, is, is covered and therefore the taste becomes very sweet and very smooth but what the cold brewing is for is as well is to even further smoothen out the tea so it gives really a fresh and umami rich so a really a sweet aroma this a little bit savory aroma which is going uh, becoming very strong and the tea becomes very smooth so much for the theory but let's go into practice and see how the difference is so what i prepared for this tasting is already five grams of um, sasahime cold brewed so you can see that this tea is more or less ready you can go up to one hour but i chose to do 20 minutes today i just stir it a little bit and so this tea is ready to be infused and tried so let's go for the hot brewing so we take the same amount of tea we take also five grams and we put it into a kyusu and we prepared here already the water which is at 60 degree fahrenheit uh, 60 degrees celsius meaning 140 degrees fahrenheit the optimal temperature for a gyokuro and we just gonna leave it in for around two minutes so this tea as said before is a shaded tea so it has a lot of theanine and this is the most important part when you talk about as well cold infusion in cold infusion you don't extract a lot of caffeine so less than half of the total caffeine is extracted in the tea um, and you extract mostly mostly the, uh, the the theanine so the amino acids are very rich so uh, the the cold brew tea is really known for uh, very smooth and very sweet note which is given by the richness of the theanines in the tea meanwhile with the hot brewing um, tea you extract a lot of the caffeine you also extract when you go to a lower temperature of 60 degrees which i recommend you as the normal temperature for each green tea it is really um the the, the difference is really that you have much more of the caffeine in the tea um, you also have a little bit of the catechin so a little bit more of a slight bitterness in it but very very smooth still and also a lot of amino acids so it's also a smooth tea very sweet tea uh, mr sakamoto can go even down uh, to 40 or even 35 degrees this is something we have seen a lot in japan so um this tea then is brewed at around uh, this temperature for this example of today to really make a good comparison i chose 60 degrees of water so we are already at the end of these two minutes so let's just pour in The water voila so you see a very very nice beautiful golden color which this tea shows so um, much more in the golden part not so greenish well we can see here this one here it's a very greenish color but I want to pour in the same amount of water also in this cup now this is gonna be a little bit tricky voila. good good 
so this is done and again in comparison these two teeth so this one is much much thicker much much more greenish with the emerald green and this one is much lighter with a beautiful color of uh, like of gold but also more lucid more transparent so let's go and taste the difference of these two teas here when I have a when I go with the nose it's much it's it's very greenish it's very veggie cucumber zucchini these are a little bit the notes I get here when I go here there's much more a yellowish color so much more a little bit of a corn flavor it seems um the sweet sweet corn flavor i have as a feedback so let's see uh, how taste wise these are different mm. very fresh very smooth a lot of cucumber i feel a lot of like this this fresh note no bitterness at all there's a little bit of acidity very very slight but no bitterness then i have um, a lot of sweetness now i have really the sweetness developing in my palate so really this a little bit this side tones of sweetness this the smoothness freshness so this is really what i can feel out of this tea a lot of cucumber a lot of this fresh veggie maybe also a little bit of uh, of spinachy like fresh spinach flavor let's go with this one here very interesting the difference also to see so here I have much more of kind of a sunflower seal this yellowishness um, then a little bit of this this corn sweet corn flavor it's a little bit drier as well um, so the, there is a certain level of astringency giving a dryness also slight dryness so it's very smooth still it's there's kind of more nuttiness into it meanwhile here is much more of a green fresh fresh taste so let's go again. Mm -hmm. So I got much more this sunflower seed, this seed and nutty taste with this one here. Meanwhile, here, mm -hmm. it's this fresh cucumber, savory, sweet, also a little bit of a stronger taste in terms of this green this green flavors it's just amazing how different these two teas are really so here you get much of a lighter and um of kind of a of a, of a straightforward yellow a little bit brighter notes and here you really got this fresh full round and dark deep sweet tones with mix with this veggie and freshness of the of, of this of this greenish taste so very very beautiful as well so both teas are very very tasty i personally tend now going into the summer more in the direction of the cold brood but for winter i love to drink gyokuro but i really want to see also in the second note how this evolves here we leave it in for one hour and we really extract the whole tea so i want to see if there if these two teas are getting closer together when i do the second infusion so here very important very simple good just 20 seconds that's more than enough good so we can already see it got much more green so in terms of liquid they're getting closer So the leaves are opening up more and more now from brewing to brewing i would say after the third or fourth brewing they are fully open and giving their full taste so here we have now still you can a little bit see my finger 
this one still more intense in terms of green color but let's have a let's have a sip of this one There's a little bit more of this greenish color coming, or really greenish flavor, but still there's a lot of sweetness, there's a lot of nuttiness. The umami also got stronger now, so a little bit this savory note is coming out stronger now. So it lost a little bit of this yellow corn, also a little bit of this uh, sunflower seed flavor, which was a little bit lost in uh, the first brewing, but you got much more of the umami coming out. Much of the savoriness, but still it's a very light and very kind of, kind of still bright, tasting colored tea there's a little bit a little hint more of this greenish freshness with it but still much less than with this one here if i compare it so really deep fresh cucumber spinachy greenish taste with a full-bodied flavor and the umami is just slightly coming, but it stay it stays it stays very humble. So it's it's not too strong. It's it's a still delicate in this note. So there's a strong sweetness to it, uh, but a, a lightness also mixed with the freshness. And here, you got a little bit the freshness, the sweetness. But then it goes, it changes, changes directly into this umami, into this umami taste. So a little bit this more savory taste. So this is the main difference of these two. So very different tea. I would say kind of to to have a have a more um, a energy boost in the morning. A little bit more of a of a of a of a hit of lighter and and brighter tastes in the morning. The hot gyokuri is definitely a good choice refreshing wise or if you just want to have something during the day the cold brew is definitely something which is great i think also when you add here a little bit of lemon juice this could add in very very nice to this freshness of this tea and maybe give this extra kick for the morning if you ever want to go for a morning cold brew tea so this is already it thanks a lot for watching and i wish you a great day bye bye